Listeners know what the fuck's happening here tonight. Yeah, motherfuckers. If you didn't come, you fucking blew it, listeners from around the country. We are live yet again from beautiful Skankfest, New York City. How goddamn exciting is this what a tight squeeze it's gonna be up here tonight for all of us together <laughs> um this is the great return it's good to be here at Skankfest, or as i call it the chernobyl of vape pens yeah. <laughs> works every goddamn time yes <laughs> <laughs> how many of you have heard me do that joke so far this week <laughs> How many of you have heard me say that joke twice so far this weekend? Wow. How many have heard it all three times? How many of you have seen it work all three times? Wow. This is heaven. Congratulations. This is heaven. We all are in love with one another. The great Brian Red Band's here. Hey, guys. What's up? I have Paul Bear's Urn of Destiny, and you know what? Why hesitate? Why even delay? You know we love Infinite CBD. You should use it. If you're on the fence, fucking do it. With that said, let's fucking bring up tonight's guest, shall we? Very special crew. You may know them by being at their comedy festival. I present to you our annual guests, the ones, the onlys, the Legion of Skanks. You don't need that cane anymore, bro. You can walk. You got the power of fucking Skankfest. You don't need that fucking gay cane. Canes are gay. Canes are gay. Wow! Louis J. Gomez just threw a cane, everybody. You can walk if you want to. <laughs> we, uh, but even Louis couldn't commit to that. He just gingerly threw the cane. Yeah. Like, even Louis goes, I am the one who's going to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this uh, guy might need this cane. <laughs> always good to be part of the annual cane throw here at Skankfest. <laughs> uh... One of the many fun events that uh, you can find here. Uh, 7 p.m. cane toss. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. Our West Coast brothers. If there was a Legion of Skanks on the West Coast, it would be these motherfuckers right here. I love you guys. And if there was a Kill Tony on the East Coast, it'd be these motherfuckers right here. We're all brothers from another mother. And uh, it's good to be up here making some fucking incest with you guys again. Uh, but you guys know the whole fucking drill. You're vets at this. Uh, what, incest? Yes. Yeah, we're pretty good. Love yeah, it. we're old incest dogs. And being guests on the show, so let's just fly into it. We have so many sign-ups tonight, I just want to keep things moving. We could blibber-blabber about everything, uh, just us forever. We know that, but let's, let's run this format. As you know, gentlemen... There is a band on this show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is the first year that the full band has been at the yeah. Legion of Skank Skankfest. 
Very exciting. Every single episode, they commit to staying in character. I never know what they're going to be. I don't even know where they got ready tonight. They disappeared about 15 minutes ago. I can't imagine them finding some crazy cupboard in this place to uh, secretly get ready in, but I'm sure they did. Sometimes it's a brand new character that we've never seen before. Sometimes it's the return of some of our favorite characters. I never know what they're going to be or what they're going to do. We're all going to find out together. They're one of my favorite things in all of comedy. Truly two of the funniest human beings that I know, and they are the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg. Joel Jimenez! Double potatoes. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Wow, this is incredible! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Jeremiah Watkins is clearly biggest Jay Okerson. Just, just, just what we need. Just what we need, Jeremiah. Another great comedian wanting to kill himself. I'm sorry, Big J. Uh, I don't think you're actually shaped like that. It's funny. It's funnier more than it hurts. <laughs> wow! Double Big J Oakers. <laughs> Look at those gloves. <laughs> what is that? Wow. A a little fun fact, Big J, that puts you up there with uh, that puts you up there, and uh, with uh, the great uh, Joe Rogan is the only two actual guests that have ever been played by Jeremiah Watkins in the history of the show. So congratulations. <laughs> so intense. Look at his face. It's like he's trying to find a girl to have a threesome with him and Christine. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and then. Back here on the drums, ladies and gentlemen. There's no doubt about it. I know it when I see it. That's Luis J. Gomez, everyone. The founder. The powerhouse backbone of Skankfest. Luis J., how's it feel tonight? What's up, faggots? <laughs> wow. I love it. And just like in real life, Louis J is playing in Big J's shadow. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Total eclipse. I love you, Louis. Granted, all four of us are sitting in Big J's shadow right now. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I, Tony, Tony. Yeah, yeah, I, lo yeah. I look like Sonic the Hedgehog if I ate all the chili dogs. <laughs> 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 that is incredible. <laughs> it took me a second to realize it was you that made that noise and not him. I was just listening. <laughs> How the fuck did you know that the stripe in his hair was going to be blue? Did you do that here? <laughs> my mind is blown. We'll talk about it later. Oh, my God. Fantastic work. <laughs> we have the Legion of Skanks. Uh... Minus Dave, like everybody wants. <laughs> yeah. No, even I get it. <laughs> uh, we have the Skanks. We have the Legion of Skanks. We have Red Band, which brings me to the great Skankfest. Paul Bear's Urn of Destiny, everybody. You got to earn it. You guys know how it works. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Wrap it up then, or, or else you're going to bring out the angry... Louis J. Gomez Bear. <laughs> That's right. He will suck your dick. If you go over your time, Louis is going to start sucking your fucking cock. Yeah, here he too. might. He might if he thinks the situation calls for it. Tony, hold on real quick. Before you pull that first name, yeah. was anybody at the Naked Roast last night? Yeah. 
Did everybody see Joelberg's huge cock? Yes. I, I love that you brought this up. It was, I, I literally almost passed out from laughing so hard. Uh, everybody else had uh, small, extremely small, or extremely normal to small dicks. And then Joel came out with three potatoes uh, connected to one another. It's that real Puerto Rican R- 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 rattlesnake, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, uh, hey, Lewis, let's just say this is the biggest your dick is ever going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to start this fucking thing or what? We are live. Skankfest. 2019. There's only one entrance way. Do not try to climb on the front of this stage. You have to walk up and over here and behind us and on stage. I'll fucking fist fight you if you do, dude. Be careful. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Watch your step. Watch where you're going. Don't trip over cords. Don't fucking fall over. Don't trip over this guy's cane. He got it back somehow. And... uh, and the party's about to begin, and don't touch any of us. You guys ready to start the show? I pulled a name out of the bucket. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted, remember, uninterrupted 60 seconds. There's no heckling. You let, if they're bombing, you let them fucking bomb. If they're getting silence, I want to hear, I want to hear people having, getting fucking tattoos in the basement, all right? <laughs> don't you chime in. Put your hands together for Andrew Jarovino. <laughs> Oh, shit. We got double legion of skanks. We have legions of skanks. Andrew, is someone coming? Oh, I see people. Oh, yeah, here he comes. Yeah. I see people scattering. Here he comes. Andrew, Andrew Girovino. Andrew. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, getting the show started. Andrew Girovino. So uh, this is pretty crazy because I actually went up first last year too. Random spot. Didn't expect to get on last year. Back on here. Uh, good to be back. Love all you guys. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, Jesus Christ. Didn't expect to go on first. I'd be honest. Uh, all right. So my dad's on Facebook, which is awkward. Um, he doesn't know that like I can see what he posts like on a common website or a common like. So he recently he commented on Drew Barrymore. She posted a photo of her on a set of a movie, and he wrote. Like, hottie, five fire emojis. I'm like, Jesus Christ, Dad. This is what you're doing with your retiring time? Like, and Drew Barrymore, that's who you find attractive? What's worse, it was a photo from the set of (laughs) E.T. There's nothing straighter than getting head from a bearded woman. Think about it. Tickles your balls. Please end this. (laughs) Oh yeah, Andrew Jaravina. There we go, and it has begun. 60 seconds. You really started off the show last year? I really did. God hates you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so many names in this bucket. I, I he's know, like, dude. nah, there's only one guy that no, could... No chance I could be the first one, and you say my name. Right. Uh, Hell yeah. So look, uh, the truth is, uh, I don't remember you from last year, and after watching this set, I know why. You were in here, hey, dude. bro, don't let him shit on you. I feel like by the time you open next year, you're going to be ready for this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! I love it. I like the silent looking over at us and saying please after every joke. <laughs> He's like, so uh, that happened. <laughs> Guys? <laughs> I love this new look. You, you, this is a little different, right? A little Connor McHomeless type of uh, <laughs> fucking... Chiseled beard. No, I wasn't talking about your muscle mass, Andrew. I was talking about your head. Uh, Can I just say one thing? This is my fourth skank fest, and uh, it's the best one yet. Wow. You guys are all my people. I love all of you. Awesome. Wow. Look at him. He's, he can also pander everybody. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? He said the magic words. You, skank you, fest. Do you guys want to hate this guy more? Louis C.K. was just on downstairs. What? Yeah, you guys... You guys got to watch him. Yeah. He's, oh, man. Wow. I love all of you guys processing you want me to take him. Like, my is dick? he fucking with us? <laughs> no. You chose that over Louis C.K. That just happened. Wow. Hey, guess what? You still paid the same for your ticket. 
<laughs> wow. Way to bury the show. Sorry. Uh, very, very Hannah Gadsby of both of you to... Uh, by the way, Louis no longer on stage downstairs, so you can all get back into the moment. Yes. You guys were actually online when Louis was on stage. Literally, I, I, I don't think I've ever felt an energy crash in a room quite as much as you guys just did right there. I mean, incredible. Oh, it's no big deal. You can still catch Cosby tomorrow. <laughs> well, don't worry, everyone. He bombed. If you, if you want the energy to dip that hard again, just watch one of Louis's sets. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is, wait. Man, he has got me down. Wait a second, is, is this, Lewis is up on his feet. I, I've never seen you stand up to a big Jay Okerson before. This is exciting. <laughs> You'll finally get to do all the bullying that you've wanted to do all these years. Uh, Andrew, t- t- stop fucking recording, you sorry, idiot. I'm sorry, it's exciting oh, stuff. God, I mean, I mean clearly from your comedy, the only chance you have is being an Instagram star, but... Uh, don't Look, worry. Mom, these real comedians don't think I'm funny. <laughs> Andrew, what's changed in your comedy career since last year? Now you wear a tiny backpack? <laughs> <laughs> Infinite CBD gave it to me with one Magnum condom in it, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I've actually done comedy. Uh, I've actually done comedy less, um, but you know, Very I, I love doing that it. That was the goal, There's... actually, Andrew. We <laughs> wanted you to slow down a bit. Uh, <laughs> thought you were getting a little too much too soon. So what? What do you do for work? I don't know if you remember, but uh, I'm still a part-time mailman. We don't. You shit on me last year for you brutally. You know. Why would anybody remember? Dude, I swear to you, when you were coming through the crowd, I was like, is that the mailman from last year? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, but the better thing is that after all this time in the entire set, and then he goes, I was the part-time mailman. And you go, yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I couldn't place it. I IMDB'd you. It's all coming back to me now. I must have made a joke about how at least you have good delivery in one of your jobs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You remembered your joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Part-time mailman. Oh uh, yeah, the guy who Tony ripped real good. Right. I also I also started working as a bouncer and at uh, Best Buy, so I got other other a jobs. You can make fun of too. A bouncer at, at a Best Buy. What the fuck? No, no, it's separate. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a bar. Olive Ridley's, Plattsburgh, New York. Woo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're not happy. Dude, I've never seen anymore. someone lose steam before the woo. Right. South side thing. <laughs> also, there's no such thing as a bouncer at Best Buy. You're the retarded guy who checks the receipts at the door. <laughs> no, it's in the big TV section, dude. Magnolia Land. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> you ever bust anybody working at Best Buy? No, I, 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 do, I sell TVs at Best Buy and I bounce at this other bar. So oh. I don't bounce at Best Buy. And why don't you so. laugh harder at my Magnolia joke? <laughs> No, it was good. No, I, was, I was trying to think of a joke. I was like, uh, do I ID people at Best Buy? I was like, boo. So wow. I stopped myself. And, and you specialize in TVs at Best Buy? There we go. <laughs> Samsung what? or Sony? God, you are truly, I mean, you are the opposite of comedy. Here we go. No, I, think, I think one of these guys is about to make a joke, audience. I was like, yeah, I was going to say it's crazy that you sell something that you'll never be on. What I say, I was like, here we go. It's going to hurt. It's going to be smart. It's going to hurt. I'm Tony, like, he, he yeah. thinks TV stands for tuberculosis. <laughs> wow. <he's>... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the Lewis Jays just high-fived each other. <laughs> Joel staying in true character there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, uh, there you go. I'm going uh, to keep Thank it you. moving along. There goes Love Andrew Giravino, everybody. Year. Hell yeah. Andrew. <laughs> Weird way to start the show with the same guy that went first as last year, but the bucket of destiny has a wild way of working. So let's see what happens now. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I actually know this guy. I believe he's from Toronto. He's been on the show. I think he was on the show. First road show we ever did five years ago in Toronto. Put your hands together for Big Dave Bastion. Here we go. There he is. Fuck. 
So I have a beard. Sometimes I, yeah, fuck off. Sometimes I get some fucking stupid comments. Like the Duck Dynasty fuckers. Trying to go for the Duck Dynasty look? No, but I bet I can guess your IQ. It's low. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. I live in Canada. Beards are fucking keeping you warm most of the time. So I trim down the sides a little bit because it's fucking hot out here. Humidity is a motherfucker around here. But uh, that's what beards are for, keeping you warm. Not for trimming down to a symmetrical point to line up with your fucking man bun. And I know what you're thinking. This guy has a ponytail. You can't make fun of man buns, but you're wrong. This is a stallion tail. Yeah. Fuck little bitch ponies. Big Dave Bastion. Wow. I've never seen anybody get exponentially worse over five years. Uh, I haven't been on stage in three years. Oh, okay. What happened? Why? I, I gave up. You gave up. Were you winning rodeos by your belt buckles information? <laughs> My goodness. What do you mean you gave up? What happened, Big Dave Bastion? The hustle's fucking hard, man. Is it? Especially yeah. when and, and you I, are and not and funny. I'm lazier than you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a goddamn nightmare in comedy if you uh, do not have the ability to make an audience laugh. So what have you been doing with yourself since you're not doing comedy anymore? Tell us about you. Uh, just Cutting down trees. Still living in Toronto, working. Um, Where do you work in? Advertising company. I uh, change what? billboards. <laughs> Ad- Sorry, I'm Canadian. Oh, you change billboards. I change billboards. Wow, it's I crazy that you work with something that you'll never be on. <laughs> Here we go. Hell yeah. You ever think about just wheat pasting your own picture up there one day? <laughs> I didn't understand that. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> is your apart like? Do you keep like the old billboards after you take them down? Like, is your apartment like Lego Movie Two, like as a wallpaper everywhere? Or? I did keep one for Weiser's whiskey, a Canadian whiskey, because I've been drinking that shit since high school. Yeah. I had a whole plan with it, but I moved away from that house and just left it for the old roommates because they were assholes. Wow, you uh, not the- for them to hang, just as a big heavy piece of garbage. You've been drinking it since high big school. Big heavy piece of garbage. What are you talking about, Jay? Uh. I got to admit, I like his shirt. Whatever, bro. Fuck off, man. He comes at me all the time. You watch the show. Dude, I'm going to tuck in my sleeveless shirt, and me and him are going to beat the shit out of you. (laughs) Big Dave and Big J. And then we're going to leave on donkeys. (laughs) (laughs) I love how his set was going so bad that he just started talking about the weather. Yeah. A lot of humidity here today. Uh, skank fest. We stood outside in some fucking heat for this. Dougie, All of us. Dougie, how long have you been selling comic books in Springfield? Whoa. I'm sabotaging myself right now. Yeah. He Come dropped. on, I shaved the neck. Louis J dropped the mic during Louis J's joke during that one. For those of you that missed it. He already knew it was going to be a beast. <laughs> in in Louis's mind, he went, I'm not going anywhere with this. <laughs> <laughs> if I know me, this one's gonna fall flat. <laughs> <laughs> if I know me, and I think I do, <laughs> this one's gonna fall flat. <laughs> you motherfucker, stop laughing so hard at me. <laughs> they're not laughing with me, they're literally laughing at me. Yeah, it's all if at they you. stop doing that, there is no show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is all of our livelihoods. Big Dave Bastion. Uh, how long yes. have you been working up on uh, billboards, just out of curiosity? Four or five years. Four or five years. Staying true to your career, you made at least one guy named Bill bored during your set uh, tonight. I remember you being a lot heavier last time I saw you. I fluctuate. I lost 35 pounds in the last month and a half because I'm back to trying to <laughs> Me not too. a piece of shit. <laughs> Is that true, Big J? Wow. Have you ever jerk off up on the billboard thing? Good question. No, I got to work with another guy, and he's old school. He wouldn't like that. Uh, old school. You guys go out. back to back. You do it at the same time. You never know, just I brought have, it up while you're up there doing it. Like, dude, wouldn't I it be crazy if we did this? Time, right beside the highway. So if someone's got good eyes, there that'd you be go. great. I love it. Uh, what is that belt buckle? Led Zeppelin. 
Ah. But to actually tell you, I don't. You speak into the microphone, Big Dave. Wow, you really you get worse every minute that you try comedy. It's incredible. Now he's stopped talking into the microphone completely. Um, so really uncomfortable because like we hang out with these people all weekend, and I love this. He's such a cool dude. Yeah. But I, he's not funny, so yeah. I don't. I don't yeah. know I how to up. handle I it. Like I have to quit. tell him this. He quit comedy to become a fucking billboard magnate. No, dude, just like become like a dude who hangs out. You're awesome at that. How many? I'm you pretty think, good at that. How many of you think Big Dave Bastion should quit again right now, live on this show? Huh? <laughs> but there you have it, Big Dave. What do you think about that? Does that mean I just leave right now? Should I just walk away? <laughs> Is I want to know the. I guess, I, I'm curious what you think about that many people wanting you to quit right now. How does that make you feel? They're three years behind. They're three years. Behind. I quit three years. Then why ago. did you sign up, man? Because I love you guys. Oh. I love this fucking show. Oh, stop being gay. I was on episode seventy-eight. It was fucking. Yeah. Crazy. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna sign up tomorrow too. Hell yeah! All right, Big Dave. Well, <laughs> Big Dave, the Big Jays love you. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, Big J won Doug Loves Movies yesterday and won me two fucking passes to come back here again next year. Uh, and a bunch of other awesome shit and fucking... Yeah. Next year I'm throwing a fucking belt buckle on the prize pack. Hey. Who knew? I didn't know our fan base would wear fucking personalized belt buckles. Well, Big Dave, I'm going to get another person no up problem, here. Congratulations man. on getting pulled out. There he goes. For the last time in public as a comedian, Big Dave Bastion. He's got the ponytail of a gentleman. How about a hand for the band, guys? Yeah. I gotta ask. You know, I the, look pretty sexy with a guitar, with a fucking sax. The bucket of destiny works in crazy ways. How many of you like it when comedians do good on the show with their 60 seconds? How many of you no. like it when comedians do bad on the show? Okay. Hey, Michael there you go. That's Michael Che, ladies and gentlemen, just popping in for a second. Uh, uh, I pulled another name out of the bucket. I mean, you was what? No, he's gone. No, he'll come right back up. Che, you want to judge? You want to come up? You want to be part of the show? Here we go. Why not? If there's anybody that can get me Louis C.K., that's the one that I wanted. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you want. Hell yeah. It's, just make it organic. Chase, sit the fuck down. Everybody, everybody gather up. Hell yes. Hell yeah. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. We're going with another big. We had Big Dave Bastion. And now your next comedian, ladies and gentlemen, goes by the name of Big Drew, everybody. Big Drew is your next comedian on Kill Tony. Here he comes. Hold on. I have six sisters and my tits are bigger than two talking about uh, family and that sort of stuff and you guys were talking about incest earlier when I was 15 my sister offered me a blowjob <laughs> yeah exactly exactly driving down the road my 8 year old niece is sleeping in the back of the car she is that much of a whore she admitted to all of us one day that uh, at dinner that um, she got gang banged by five dudes at dinner in front of four other sisters, mom, dad, niece, nephew, everyone. Yeah. Fucked up family. Um, so that's only half of it, of course. You know, stepsisters and that sort of shit. Uh, eight in total, one stepbrother. He's a carny, so uh, there's that. There you go, big true. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. I'll Hell tell yeah. you, it was Hell nice yeah. to have just the average Legion of Skanks fans represented up here. Yeah. 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 Was that... How do you guys... Was that just a guy airing his issues? 
How do you guys know Big Drew? He, you know him from? No idea. Tony, I'm blown Tony, away I'm how many comics have Big in front of their name. <laughs> Yeah, I actually met Drew uh, outside, and he actually ha- got a tattoo downstairs. And watch you show him, and it's the first one I've ever seen. Whoa! <laughs> for, the, for those of you just listening around the world, that is a true, amazing Kill Tony tattoo. The red and yellow. And it's my first wow. Tattoo. It's wow, my first that tattoo is so ever. fucking cool, Big Drew. How long have you been doing stand up comedy? Very first time. First time ever! Wow. One could say with a you know, doing doing a show like this and with the way you look, we can literally say that we are making a murder. Awesome. awesome. That is incredible. Yes, Big J Okerson. Yeah, Tony Hinchcliffe has finally fulfilled his lifelong dream of having his name on another man's body. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me, Big J. And this is Big Drew. A fun fact for those of you with your Kill Tony bingo cards, this is technically the fourth comedian on this stage with the word Big starting off his name. We have two Big J's, we had Big Dave, and now Big Drew. Uh, what do you, where are you from, Drew? Maryland. Maryland. What do you do for work? I uh, work for Coke. You work for what? Everyone here works for Coke. Wow. Food, Coke, bills. The real cola company? I do. Yes. My goodness, that is exciting. Getting high on your own supply. I love it. Yep. How long have you been working with them? Uh, actually, a year last week. You drive a truck? Uh, no. No. No? I uh, repair fountain equipment. So we oh, go hell yeah. McDonald's, get a cup, fill it up. There you go. Fuck yeah. This is the guy that makes the fucking fountains possible. How exciting. First time doing stand-up. How old are you? 26. 26. Yeah. Hell yeah. What would you, what'd you guys think of his uh, first time? I didn't before? think he looked 26. <laughs> That's a rough 26, man. What happened? Did you come from a logging town? <laughs> Fishing. Fishing. Fishing town? town? Now you have it. Yep. Five, five bars within walking distance of my house. No shit? Yep. Nope. Is that your dad? <laughs> nah. That's my boy. Nope. Nope. I love it. My God. Whatever. You know, a lot of times you go and get a fountain soda and you don't think to yourself, that doesn't just happen. You know what I mean? There's a person behind that. And yeah. his sister's a whore. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. And clearly, clearly uh, fountain soda is the opposite of the fountain of youth. Uh, it really, I mean, I have seen you age two years in four minutes. It's incredible. From the fountain to the mountain. <laughs> the mountain too. Good one, Lewis. Michael Che, it's your first time, first time seeing anything uh, on Kill Tony. Welcome, guys. How oh, about one more big pop for Michael Che, guys? Hi. This is that. This, that's got to be so nerve wracking. You're doing comedy for the first time at. With this audience and these motherfuckers judging you right after, that's got to be scary. You, Hell that's yeah. that's the hard. You've already accomplished more than you'll ever accomplish. But <laughs> also, but also, you've 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 topped it. This is the mountain. That's like this is a beautiful thing. You got to enjoy it. Soak that shit in, man. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I. But on the bright side, you got another man's name tattooed on your arm. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, just one joke note, though. You didn't have to say my eight-year-old niece. Niece was fine. We were. You lost us there. <laughs> that was <laughs> true. 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 I love it. Well, Big Drew, I'm telling you, you got the tattoo. You got pulled out of the bucket, and so far tonight, it's first time you've had the first set time? of the night so far. That's first awesome. time. Yeah. First time. I can't imagine it going better than that. Anything else you think we should know about you before we let you go? Anything else crazy we need to know about the life of Big Drew? That's pretty much it, honestly. Uh, wow. And that was your moment, dude. You should have been like, a Big Drew gets that pussy. <laughs> I'm, I'm passive. Do you, have a, do you have a girlfriend, Big Drew? Is there some not. Big Bertha out there that you're fucking plowing it to? 
Wait, what? Yeah. What are these people right, doing, right. Big Drew? Yeah, Explain to us what they're saying. The people from Pepsi are screaming <laughs> something in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Boo this man. Get him out of here. It's too sweet. Uh, uh, I've, I've, I've been talking to this girl that's into DDLG. Wow. Wow. Dirty, dirty Luis Gomez. <laughs> Oh, oh, Lewis J. Unreal, oh, dude. Lewis. Unbelievable. Lewis. That's hilarious. Lewis. Crazy. There's no episode. He got so mad he knocked over drinks. <laughs> Wait, hold on, guys. He didn't spill it on Jay. The curse has been broken. He spilled it on Jay. The closest name. I'm doing drums. Guys, it, Lewis, there's a microphone back there. Lewis. Okay. Oh, okay. The goat. You sit, he's about to knock over another cup with this. Lewis, sit down. Sit down anywhere. BBLJG. Hell yeah. Full recovery. Oh, uh, you know what? If you hadn't knocked over that drink, that probably would have popped. <laughs> I know. So what crazy. is DDLG? <laughs> yeah. what would, Daddy dominant little girl. Uh, what? So she just Daddy said, dominant little girl. Daddy dominant. Wait, you're into girl? that thing? Uh, no, this is the first. I didn't even know it was a thing. Just started. So, talking well, so how did you find it? What does she do? What the hell? Explain it, man. Come she, on. She likes tasks and commands. For example, she's a dog. For example, <laughs> said roll she's over. a real uh, good bitch. girl. <laughs> like uh, a jazz. Windows 95 Microsoft computer. <laughs> Bedtime. So some of the commands. Is this, is this on? Uh, you better well, no, start on. spilling the fucking beans. Wear a butt plug to work. Wow. And, like, and she likes it that. when you tell her to do this shit. Correct. So like, you've is that a task that you've given her before? There's, there's right into many. the tip of the microphone, Big Drew. There's, there's too many, and then there's not enough. There's butt many. plugs. What? I've heard of Task Rabbit, but Task Faggot? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, have you have you made her wear a butt plug to work? Yeah. What does she do for work? Uh, works from home, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> works. I love that accent, dude. She works from home. It's stupid. It's stupid. Yo, she works at home. Wow. She works at, yeah. from home. It doesn't matter. <laughs> she works from home. Wear a butt plug to work. <laughs> Just wear a butt plug around the house, you know? <laughs> it's you incredible. Can wear your, hey, listen, that's, that's a beautiful thing, and I feel like that relationship's going to work. <laughs> well, that's it. Anything else you want to plug other than your wife's asshole? There he goes. Big Drew, everybody. That's it. Let's keep it moving along. <laughs> Drew. True. Got the Kill Tony tattoo today. Got pulled up for That's his awesome. first set and had a good set. Come on. That's great that Amazing. he got pulled up. I will also, uh, the the set of the night, I will buy a Kill Tony f- tattoo for. Hey, look set at that. of the night. Heck yeah, looks like he's going to get a second tattoo, everybody. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I love. Am I, I love, too hot on the drums? You guys could tell me to dial it back if I have to. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. We trust right, you. Cool. Back there. Also, Chase never even tried the drums. He's just a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled another name out I of mean, the bucket. That's definitely better than any white kid would ever nail on the first <laughs> shot. Make some noise for your next comedian, Danny Braff, everybody. Wow. Here he comes, Danny Braff. I'm Thank sorry, I didn't, I didn't get the sheet music to that song. <laughs> One more time for Danny Braff, 60 seconds yeah, uninterrupted thanks. starts now. Thank you. Uh, I work at Costco. I'm one of those people that hand out samples. Uh, you meet interesting people when you hand out samples at Costco. The other day, a man walks into Costco with a shirt on that says, Masturbation is murder. 
And I chuckled, because when I see masturbation is murder, I think, call me Ted Bundy. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if masturbation's murder, they're making a Netflix documentary about every single person in this room. <laughs> And, and if masturbation is murder, does that mean wearing a condom is kidnapping? So, so, I, so I chuckle, and he says, what are you laughing at, sir? I said, I said, nothing. He says, are you laughing at my shirt? I said, no, it's okay. He says, it's not okay. Billions and billions of people die every day from masturbation. And I say, on a slow day, <laughs> thank you very much. Danny Brown. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> He's getting a standing ovation for those of you listening. Danny motherfucking Brown. You look familiar. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, four years. Four years. I got on last year. You uh, got on last year right here. here. Hell yeah. And oh, shit. How do, you, how, do, how do you feel after you just got a standing ovation at Skank Fest? That was fucking great, man. Heck yeah. Dude, I'll tell you what it was. He was great, but he, when you walked up here, I was like, there is 0% chance that he's going to have a single funny joke. So people were blown away when you were fine. <laughs> I remember you from last year. I absolutely do remember, man. It's fucking very funny, man. Great yeah, job, you. dude. Yep. That was awesome. When you first came out, I was like, this is like if Jared from Subway was a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Louis J just gave Louis J the biggest high five. This is so funny. They are bonding. They have switched hats. So this is interesting. You're going to like this. I mentioned last time I was on the show, I used to do magic. And I, oh. used, to do ma I used to go to magic camp. Okay. And there's a competition every year. Uh -huh. uh, and I created a whole magic act around Jared from Subway. Ah. And this was, oh, I created shit. it a month before he got arrested. And he made his dick disappear into a child? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. That was, that was real Luis J. Gomez right there. Do you know how hard it is to have a Jared from Subway story and you be the creepy one? <laughs> <laughs> so what were you getting at there, Danny? So uh, then I created this whole thing, spent a lot of money, worked on it, and then he got arrested, but I decided to do it anyway because I spent so much fucking time. <laughs> yeah. So at Magic Camp, in front of like a ton of children and counselors, I did a whole act as Jared from Subway. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Just holding like giant pants in front of yourself? Yeah. I did a trick. I did a, one of the tricks was like I was wearing normal pants and I pulled them off and then they were like fucking huge and like it was. Do you still do magic? <laughs> no, not anymore. No, no, not anymore. Is there a magic trick that you've learned that maybe you could do for this audience right now? Oh, huh? do your Bill Cosby piece. <laughs> <laughs> do a trick. Do a trick. Do a trick. Do a trick. Do the fuck do you mean you don't have anything? I, have I could do a fucking magic trick right now. Uh, do a magic trick. Uh, I don't have anything with uh, uh, to do. Uh, uh, exactly. There you go. Luis J. Gomez has a tissue ball. He grabbed it with one hand. Whoa! <laughs> Luis J. Gomez just did a great fucking magic trick. I literally... <laughs> Are you ready? There's nothing better that works with magic than having low expectations. And uh, I was literally expecting it to just drop out of the hand that he had. <laughs> that it looked like he took it out of and it came out of his mouth. How long have you had that napkin in your mouth? <laughs> this is what we learn. He just always keeps an extra. A one. wizard never tells his secrets. <laughs> How about Amber Lewis J. Gomez revealing? <laughs> I practice MMA and sorcery. <laughs> Baby James loves that trick. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. I'm not really good at anything, but I'm okay at everything. <laughs> hey, I like that. Heck yeah. Uh, well, Danny, anything else we need to know about you that's changed in the past year that we didn't uh, know, find out last year? You working at Costco still? Still working at Costco. <laughs> That was about it. Yeah. Are you gonna oh, get Are oh, you gonna get a Kill Tony tattoo if uh, you're the funniest one of the night? 
I, my parents would kill me. I, You're, <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> Your parents? Yeah, I'm 22, but they're, they would be upset. Wow, 22. You're why are you Jewish? Yeah. That's why. <laughs> 22. But for you... What? Uh, uh, nothing. Um... <laughs> So you still live with your parents? Yes. Here in New York City? New Jersey. New Jersey. What part of New Jersey? A small town called Flemington. Flemington. Sounds like a Jewish community to me. (laughs) That place has chutzpah. Jaime town. Pretty sure Ari's doing a pop-in over there right now. Uh, (laughs) Hell yeah. What's the most Jewish thing about you? Circumcised. His face. You're circumcised? That's it? I, I don't really believe in the religion, but uh, my parents do. So. Wow, you, you'll say on a podcast that you don't believe in the religion, but you're afraid your parents will find your tattoo. Why don't we get it somewhere where your parents will never look? Dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I, I, I fucking can't. I'm sorry. Right next to your butthole, put a little kill Tony next to your yeah, spill Tony. Yeah, Tony's face. Make the butthole the O. <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. You, you'll think about it. We know what that means. <laughs> Oh, my parents will kill me. Holy yeah. hi. He's going to go anxi- he's going to go anxiety about it for a while. <laughs> oh god, they'll be mad and my parents will be mad. <laughs> Why do, wh- and their parents will be mad and their parents will be mad. How I'll be the laughing stock of Flemington. <laughs> <laughs> How ex- what would Moses think? How excited were your parents when they found out that you got a job at a bulk discount store? They what are you doing? You're selling francs in bulk? <laughs> How many wheat thins could somebody need? <laughs> Did they use your membership, your parents? Uh, I don't get a membership. I use their membership, actually. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> don't you think your parents are going to be upset if you turn down a free tattoo? A hundred yeah. <laughs> it's great. You're spot on, Red Man. Spot on. My boy got hey. a tattoo on his schmeckle? Of another man's I will name? disown you forever. But dad, it was free. Come here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Danny Braff with so far the set of the night. He's in the running to get a free tattoo. A Jewish oxymoron. Get yourself a tattoo when you took us. Who's going to know the difference? I liked him. Heck yeah. You guys having fun out there? I always wanted to do that. We've seen this guy before. He's absolutely insane. Put your hands together for Reverend Johnny Stewart, everybody. Here we go. It's happening. Uh, Here we go. I have a giant rainbow flag. I put it on the back of my Ford F-250. And I've been driving around town with this rainbow flag. I'm not a fucking faggot or nothing. The point is, back in the day, God was angry with the gays. They were getting out of control with the partying and the butt sex and the sodomy. God sent a great flood to wipe all the butt fuckers from the earth. And the rest of the people that weren't on the boat took a step back, said maybe I fucked up a little bit. So then in order to let you know he's not going to flood the gays away, he says a rainbow after every storm. (laughs) Couple thousand years later, all the goddamn people doing all the goddamn sodomy reappropriated as some butt-fucking pride flag. So now I'm taking it back in the name of the Lord, you guys. (laughs) God changed his mind once. He may again, you sinners. I'm looking out for you just spit in his face. You're just a fucking fag about it. <laughs> I can say that in Skegfest. Yeah, uh, hey. Reverend Johnny, everybody. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> or as I call oh, I him, Little Jay Okerson. <laughs> nice club. Feel however you feel about the set. The history checks out. <laughs> <laughs> how it went down. Historically accurate. Not funny. True. <laughs> it's in the book. Reverend Johnny, we've seen you before. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, 
Like seven <laughs> years by now? Seven years. Since you looked at me. I'm sorry. Seven years. Seven years? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. I'll be honest. I thought you were going to say it was your first time. Oh. I... No wonder he doesn't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reverend John, you live in L.A., yeah? Yeah. The first time I met you was outside the comedy store. Oh, we had a whole thing on Kill Tony. This is the guy that I pulled the sword on, and everyone was freaking out. Yeah. yeah. Remember and now everyone understands why I pulled the sword on him. Is that okay? He deserves to be dead for his unfunniness. Rev- Reverend Johnny, let me ask you a question. You yeah. seem like you were a bad kid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Were you? Kind of. I mean, like you get just, uh, schizophrenia, it's like kind of illegal to arrest you if they talk to you for a minute. And then it's just like, oh, we just got to put this kid in a 5150. So, like, I don't have a record since I turned 18. That's is it really actually good. illegal to arrest you? It's or like is, fucked up. Is that up. just yeah. what the voice is saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you went to the psych ward a few times? Uh, yeah, a few times. Already. Yeah, like what's the longest you ever stayed in one? Two weeks, probably. Thank I don't know. That was like teenage shit, yeah. Right. Thank now you. that you're all grown up, you never went back. Yeah. Yeah, now you got together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to lead you to skank tattoo. Yeah, Hell yes. yeah. Hell yeah. Right above the yeah. scar where he burned himself with a car lighter so he could <laughs> feel something. <laughs> yeah. I heard Fucking Dave won the, uh, the Doug Loves Movies and got the free tattoo thing. And then he didn't want to get a tattoo on his ass, so then I was like, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. And I got the fucking, got the tattoo. Hell Thanks, yeah, doggy. Dude. Fuck yeah, baby boy. <laughs> Crushing it. I love Spread it. this shit around I got no problem house. with Reverend Johnny. Look, Reverend Johnny stinks, okay? It's not a problem, though, yeah. okay? Yeah. He sort of has the whole spirit of Skankfest. Like we brought him here this year. He's actually performing on other shows here at Skankfest. Ah. Yeah. He's a fucking degenerate. But to be honest with you, I think if we didn't book him, he would probably hurt me and my family. Yeah. So we gave him the opportunity, it, and he wasted it. Oh. Wow, look at that. Free Still, tattoo. Still, though, that's, that's pretty sweet. Isn't it nice when old sword rivals bury the hatchet? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Reverend Johnny, how do you survive? How do you make money? Uh, I'm, uh, work at, uh, I may or may not work at a weed delivery company in L.A. Ah, in L.A. He looks through cars and parking lots for change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. How about a weed delivery service called Seedless? That's good. Yeah. That's good. That should have got more. Watermelon flavored. Wow. Uh, and you, 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 you drive? <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> Reverend Johnny, you drive the car? You deliver pot yeah. by driving? What kind of car do you have? Uh, Civic Hybrid. Civic Hybrid. Yeah. What a year? hybrid? Yeah. I would not guess you were in a hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> Energy efficient, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Leave a light carbon footprint, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Joel? Uh, he looks like a hybrid of Lewis and uh, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so it checks yeah. out. All I'll right. fucking fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis. All right. So, uh, Reverend Johnny, um, it was good to see you again. You got on again. How do you mm-hmm. feel like tonight's set went? You've been doing this seven years. That was a 60-second set. How do you feel about it? It was cool. I dig it, man. I'm just it's like, official. He's schizophrenic, everybody. It's That's awesome. it. Uh, <laughs> thinks it went cool. See you guys. One more time for Reverend Johnny, everybody. Come on. Hell, yeah. Back to the bucket we go. How cool is this? An all-star packed stage for Kill Tony. Room is full capacity. This Let's see what happens awesome. now. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Brandon Garrison, everyone. Here we go. Brandon Garrison. Oh, here he comes. Wow. Here he comes. Brandon Garrison. What's up, everybody? I hate the, uh, sorry, my voice. I hate the, the saying, you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. For instance, I don't believe in police officers should be dwarfs. The other way around. <laughs> Fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> boo. Ah, uh, fuck. 
Suicide's cool, huh? I mean, I don't... <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but uh, I, I'm really fascinated. <laughs> I'm really fascinated by the people that uh, kill themselves, or that attempt to kill themselves, and, and they fell. Uh, for instance, in my hometown, a guy pulled up to a, a gas station, doused himself with gas, and lit the match, and my sister was the nurse who ended up having to take care of him, and she was telling me, she goes, God, it's so sad, right? And, and all I could think was, how much do you prepay? <laughs> Thank God. Thank, Thank yeah. fucking God. There you go. Oh. Surprisingly, not the worst beating I've ever seen TJ Dillashaw take. Oh, fuck. Uh, that was incredible. Oh, I've never seen a guy. You have, you're an interesting looking guy. Uh, Thanks, you man. have like no chin and a like a, you have a nice looking beak on you there. You got one of those... <laughs> Got one of those Jeremiah Watkins yeah, noses Watkins. over there. It looks a lot like uh, Alec Baldwin when he tries to scare the people out of his house in the movie Beetlejuice and he stretches his face. That's what you look like in, your, in, in, the, in the body that God gave you. It's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a young Mr. Burns. Hey, he does. Oh, Louis J. Gomez. Oh, hey, there's your first Joelberg chant of the night. Ooh. Oh. Just when you thought his head couldn't get any bigger if you saw it last night at Naked Roast. Uh, <laughs> Triple potato. Also, by the way, I held his dick at one point. I was on a lot of drugs last night. I don't even know. You did what? That wasn't even on stage. What? It wasn't like, just stage. in private? <laughs> yeah. No, after the show, I went up to him, and I, I picked up his dick. <laughs> oh, dude, how heavy was it? It was... So heavy. Like, have you ever held... You remember the first time you held a gun? You were like, oh, my God, this is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking steel. Get this away from me. Uh, wow. I did Joe. not realize it was going to be Cocked and loaded, heavy. right? Yeah, dude. Cocked. So, Brandon, Brandon Garrison, uh, how long you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, like, like four months. Four months. Yeah. Where do you live? Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. Yep. What do you do for work? Uh, maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance, yes, sir. Heck yeah. What kind of maintenance exactly? It's just like, a, like homes, businesses. Uh huh. So I, just, I work for a maintenance company and we go around various uh, rental properties. And uh, I get it. I get it. What do you do for fun when you're not working? Uh, I play a lot of pool. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, barbecue. You have a nose that could do <laughs> a lot of eight balls. Uh-huh. Not surprised. What a Salt Lake pool. City guy, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. What do you do for fun? Yeah, you know, just look out, <laughs> walk. Find a nice stick. <laughs> Paint a leaf. Other than pool, what else did you say? Uh, barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> Wait, let me ask you something. When you're yeah. when, when you're when I'm you're when there. you're marinate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do pastry prep. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue. You have a specialty on the grill. You like Tony Soprano or something like that? What's going on? Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know. Just uh, I'll fuck up some brisket. Wow. With some pulled pork. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine you just let that fucking you use your nose as like one of those ventilator hoods over and yeah, over. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if his right nostrils are so big he just knows? He goes. These are rare. <laughs> Doug Benson. Hey, oh! Doug Benson. I just, I recognize this guy. There's the elephant from my show. I'm glad it's still around. <laughs> I just wanted to mention this guy. He, was, he played the phonograph on the uh, Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for Doug Benson, everybody. One of our, uh, one of our elite uh, guests as far as amount of appearances, for sure. Uh, we love him here at Kill Tony. I'm sorry. We'll see him again uh, soon. He's so great. And where'd he go? He's to- totally gone, right? Wait, can I say like a comedy thing though with yeah. him? Yeah. Like honestly, he was really like once he settled in, like after thirty seconds or so, he settled in and actually told the joke and it landed way more than like the awkward saying hi part. So maybe you know he was good. I yeah. Thought. Yeah. It's the classic. It's the yeah. classic. Michael Che, are you saying right now you can't figure out if someone's a great comic in sixty seconds of comedy? <laughs> 
Are you being so bold as to right now say you cannot judge a comedian by 60 minutes of comedy? I'm saying a lot of guys, they got super comfortable and still sucked. But he got comfortable and told a good one. So yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hell, yeah. I agree. I think, I think he's in running for the Kill Tony tattoo, to be honest. I love it. He's in the run. You heard it from Louis Please, yourself. please. I already got the Legion. Hey, so we got it. Fuck that. yeah, dude. Heck, Fuck yeah. That. All right. Well, he's in the running. You saw it here. It's Brandon Garrison, everybody. Let's keep it moving along. You guys ready to watch another set or what? There we go. We have some. I've met some fun people the last two days telling me that they're signing Sorry, guys. I've got to take a, a shit, I guess. It's all good, yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> there he goes. All right, so uh, put your hands together for your next comedian, Spencer O'Neill, everybody. 60 seconds for Spencer. Wow, he's right here. Here he is. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you're cool. I, uh, I like to argue and debate, um, and I like everything that comes along with that, like uh, logical fallacies, ad hominems. And I recently learned one that's called Godwin's Law. And if you, know what, if you don't know what that is, it states that if a debate or a conversation goes on long enough, inevitably somebody will mention Hitler, and that is a sign that the conversation is now over. So I've started to use this to get out of conversations I don't want to be in, you know? So I just bring up Hitler as soon as possible. Like, for example, I'll be driving down the street, and I get pulled over, and a cop will be like, you know why I pulled you over? I'll be like, you know who else used to pull people over? Hitler. And then I'll drive away, because the conversation's over. And then I'll be in court, and they'll be like, this guy says he did nothing wrong. I'll be like, you know who else did nothing wrong? Hit I feel like you guys get it. <laughs> Am I out of time? <laughs> that one. Uh, you do become known as the Hitler guy, though. So when you're walking down the street, somebody's like, hey, it's the Hitler guy. And you're like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, thanks. Hey, there you go. Look at that. A real uh, one joke, stayed in the pocket, got better as it went, hit it, set it up, punchline, tag, tag, tag. There you go. That was a real set. How long you been doing comedy? Six years. Six years. Hell yeah. That uh, yeah, seems that like fucking, it. That was excellent, man. And for a festival run by a podcast who's been called a Nazi quite a bit lately... Uh, I enjoyed that. I wrote Thank it you. specifically for Lewis. Yeah. It was home. really on brand. Yeah. He, he only brought me here because I'm German. So. Here uh, yeah, I know, I know Spencer. Spencer's a fucking pro, dude. He just moved from Seattle to L.A., and he's a killer. And uh, you're going to do it. But, dude, besides you being legitimately racist in real life, I think you're going to actually have a lot of success in this business. I'm actually very uh, uncomfortable being this close to a Puerto Rican. It's not. Damn. I love that. That's two Puerto Ricans, you son of a bitch. How I don't speak Spanish. I have no idea what you said. <laughs> <laughs> How long, uh... Lewis's? Lewis's, Lewis's please. Lewis's, please. Do you speak MMA, motherfucker? <laughs> I almost got mugged. Did you see that? That was Spencer. fucking terrifying. Spencer, how long has it been since you moved from Seattle to Los Angeles? About two weeks. Two weeks? That's yeah. incredible. Have you been to the comedy store yet? Yeah, it was there last Monday. How'd that go for you? I did good. Yeah, did, you, right. you, you, did you get up in Potluck? Yeah. Or? Okay, did you sign up for Kill Tony? No, I was going to when I got back, and then it was here, so. Oh, okay, cool. Well, uh, <laughs> no, I love it. That makes sense. That's so good. great that you were able to get uh, pulled for Potluck. Yeah, your I, was, first I time didn't have any shows today, store. so I figured, why not? That's great. And uh, swing by on a Monday, say hi to us, and we'll, uh, we'll introduce you to everybody around there, and uh, cool. we'll make you feel like part of the family. Can I plug something? Can I plug something? Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Spencer wants to say something. I'm on the 6 p.m. showcase in the basement tomorrow, so come. Oh, this nigga's got watch. plugs. Wow. There you go. Weird plug. Welcome to another episode of Weird Plugs. I'm on the 6 p.m. show a in the basement. You put up a ringer. That's not, that's not the spirit of the fucking game. Yeah, he was great. Six years in the game, a perfect minute-long set. How about one more time for Spencer O'Neill? 6 p.m., basement tomorrow. Don't miss it. All right. This is going to be exciting. I can just tell. I love one-word names. This guy uh, has an interesting one-word name. Put your hands together for Casper, everyone. It's motherfucking Casper. Hopefully he's a friendly, 
Friendly goes. I don't see any movement. Does anyone see any Is somebody movement? Somebody coming, Casper, Caspel. Oh, that's right. jazz. Is there movement happening back there? Can you guys see movement? It's apparently dead nobody child here likes ghost. jazz. <laughs> okay, blacklisted. All right, there you go. On to the you next. You just got ghosted by Casper. <laughs> it's crazy. That's true. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. It's Casper, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing? All right, cool. Hey, so when I was a kid, I had pale skin, freckles, and red hair. Now that I don't, I consider myself transgender. Um, other day, I found out I had a STD. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, it was a yeast infection. The uh, way I found out was kind of weird, though. I took a shit, I turned around, and there was a French baguette sitting in the toilet. Uh, later that day, I jerked off, and I came a crescent roll. Uh, I think I know who gave it to me, too. I uh, fucked a bagel last week. It was an everything bagel, so I know that she got around. Uh, other day, I was down in Compton. I adopted a dog, and, you know, it's like a really good dog, but I think it just, like, took some traits from, like, its old owner. Um, I tried taking it for a walk, and it takes me, like, a half hour to get around the block, but that's because it's just, like, trailing behind me, like... Uh... Heck yeah. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks. Casper. Casper. Yeah, yeah. Really. Casper, you have the energy of like a, a guilty uncle who's trying to talk himself out of molesting his niece. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't sign up. I shouldn't do this, man. I shouldn't. This is wrong. No, that's good. Oh, Casper, are you actually the... <laughs> Casper, are you actually the Casper from the movie Kids? <laughs> Let's check in with uh, let's check in with the biggest Jay Okerson over there. Yeah, uh, this guy is like Mark Norman with no punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. He has a, he has a very interesting look too. For those of you listening, he looks like if uh, he looks like if James Franco dove into a pool of CBD. <laughs> you are so just mellowed out. You stoned right now? Yeah, a little. Hell Fucking yeah, James Blanco. Yeah. He looks yeah. like Edgar Allan Poe boy. <laughs> Casper, how long you been doing stand up? Um I really I like I started when I was like twenty, I'm twenty three now. I haven't really So done three it. years, Casper. I haven't I, I not consistently, that's it. Hey. I started when I was twenty. You don't 20, have to I'm show your work now. Man. You do anybody's guess. You do the math. Yeah. I love it. So you're twenty three years old, you've been doing doing it for three years. Uh how do you make a living? Uh, I bust tables right now. Wow. Yeah. It's Jesus a good time. Christ. That's I, incredible. I used to sell cars and I bankrolled some money and that job sucks and then I quit and I got like two you months left. You bankroll like, money. Shut the dude, fuck up. Dude, I'm fucking. No. Five grand, dude. I'm fucking loaded. What bankrolling. the fuck? Five grand, dude. That's like a year in fucking Thailand. What kind of car? <laughs> Chevy's. You went to Thailand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Thailand in 2018. Wow, I, man. Just. Children, bro, it's cur- no, I was going to say, you're not helping this pedophile thing. <laughs> That's how pedophiles count their money, how many years in Thailand they can buy them. <laughs> Five grand? I just got myself two years of sweet, sweet Thailand. <laughs> what do you do for fun, Casper? Um, I play a lot of Fortnite. Talk uh, to- no. Yeah. Wow. Dude, do you have a PS4 here? I will literally, I tried to add Doggy. you. Doggy. <laughs> Pure Rattlesnake, that's my username. No, I tried adding. I play on PS4, so I tried adding you. If you don't have an Epic, I can't play with you. I have Epic. We're fine. We're going to play. I, I added Are you. Are you good? I, pretty good, dude. How many solo wins? Only nine. But I started fuck playing off. like You're six months ago. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Six months ago. You're not on my team. Get the fuck out of here. I just started editing. Garbage. I'm killing, yeah. I'm killing editing right now. I'm killing wow. it. Hey, do you two teenage girls want to get back to the job at hand? I'm sorry. <laughs> That last minute felt like something that could happen as an after-show conversation. <laughs> I, I got all you got. I'm 100% on. So used car salesman bankrolled something, and now you're a fucking bus boy. How long have you been busting tables for? And how Probably. bad do you want to get these empty drinks off of this table right now? Dude, 
I cleaned up those naps. When the spill came, I ran up for like half a second, and then the security. It did take you quite a while. That is one. Uh, that is one um, slow bus boy. What uh, type of restaurant are we talking about? It's like a bar restaurant. It's pretty cool. Uh, free. It's called the Social Hall, Tempe, Arizona. If you're there, come on out. Uh, Weird plug. Why? Welcome to another episode I don't know. of Weird I thought, Plugs. Dude, am I going to raise or something? That's just more work for you if people come to the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> They're not going to tip you. What are you t- <laughs> Come on out. No one's got a problem if you leave a drink wherever or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Throw your glass anywhere. Floor. I'll fucking figure it out. <laughs> no. Can I admit something? Sure. I, I didn't sign up today. I got in too late, and I told my girlfriend I'd come up if somebody didn't show up. Oh, you're the night. worst. Boo this man. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Put the mic in the mic stand and yeah, go. Really? There you go. Yeah. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Security! I didn't know. Security! Boo this man. Do not Boo! stop booing this man. Boo Motherfucker. I called him Casper. All right. God. Oh, shit. That's hilarious. All right. Pulled another one name out. Put your hands together for Dustin, everybody. It's Dustin Deckel. Here we go. Dustin Deckel's coming to this stage. I'm positive of it. Here he is. It's a real human being. He looks like a Dustin. How about you make some noise for Dustin, guys? It's really him. I can tell. Holy shit. I'm actually Dustin, so no worries there. Also, just wanted to look out to Reverend Johnny here. You're looking at the child of a bull dyke. So I hope you like what you see here, boy. Anyway, though, so this is kind of awkward now. I'm sorry, Tony. Wow. This is incredible. Skankfest for him. Flew in here from Seattle. This is crazy. I, uh, I answered the phone on accident when my mom called earlier today, and I usually do a better job of, uh, you know, not answering the phone when she calls. <laughs> and uh, in this case, she calls me, and she's like, Dustin, I don't even know who you are anymore. And I just kind of sat there quietly, and I said, Mom, you don't even know who you are. You're a bull dyke, and you think you're a lipstick lesbian. Okay, no bull dyke jokes about your mom are okay at Skankfest, apparently. Uh, hopefully this minute is... I'm sorry, it's not funny. I wish it was. I think it's, Thanks, more, I think it's more your jokes about your mom being a bull dyke at Skankfest uh, yeah. that didn't work. How about one more time for Dustin, everyone? Sorry, guys. If Man. you really, you know... Holy fuck. I, be, I, feel like, I feel like your lesbian mom should have scissored you at birth. I think so, uh, too. She should have hit the abort button, probably. Dustin, I I want you to realize something. We were having so much fun before you came up here. (laughs) Like, it was like we were having the best skank fest we've ever had. But I do, I I like the blaming of the crowd not being able to handle is my favorite thing in comedy. It's like, and my mom's a dumb, fat bull dyke. Oh, I'm sorry, snowflakes, you princesses. Too, you guys too fucking pussy to hear the real truth. And of... Of I'm all the places to think that the audience didn't want to hear bull dyke jokes, we built this festival for bull dyke jokes. Sure. That's the whole point. Right. Let's, uh, let's check in with Michael Che back there on drums. I know white guys don't know how to say hi. <laughs> Everybody up here has struggled with saying hi. You guys are terrible at first impressions. Uh. Yeah. And then, like, it takes 45 seconds for you to get one thing out, yep. and then if that thing isn't good, we get really mad at you. Yeah. I think Michael's spot on. Uh, everybody coming up here so far has pretty much uh, uh, spent the first, 20, first need... 20 seconds going, oh, I can't believe this happened. I didn't think I was going to get pulled. A lot of the classic flew all the way from Seattle. Like, laughing, every single yeah. thing that you said made us like you less and less and less. It was if incredible. you have nothing to say, why do you walk up here so fast? <laughs> <laughs> Take some I, time, no, I, man. I, I do have. I, I literally have been. I went to the Seattle show, the Portland show. Oh wow! Game up here. Did you this sign up? This is my very those? first time ever being on a stage. Oh, cool! Well, Dude, congratulations. Good. No, don't clap it up for him. No, don't. I'm not. No. Don't make us feel bad for your no. horseshit. <laughs> no, no. 
That's we're, the, we're, we're, we're having a good time, man. You're trying to ruin Skankfest. <laughs> this guy might be the guy that is single-handedly going to ruin Skankfest. Wow. We are watching Lewis's Molly wear off live on <laughs> Kill Tony right now. <laughs> You know, no, we're man. So much Fuck fun. this guy. We should kill this guy tonight. <laughs> Nobody's more thrilled than the hey, last doggy. guy who hey, was doggy. on stage who's like, I think the heat's off me for a second. Dustin, what do you do for work? Kill this guy. I work in insurance. Insurance. Hell yeah, you do comedy like an insurance guy too. Um, what is, what's interesting about you? What's a saving grace for us to find a redeeming quality to make us feel like you're not just there like a regular plain Lego man? I mean, I, I thought the bull dyke stuff was going to be enough, but... Uh, when, when you say your mom was a bull dyke, what exactly do you mean? Your mom was a lesbian, a big manly lesbian that fucked a dude and got pregnant with you? Exactly. And then, when, and then once she had you, she started just eating a bunch of pussy? She, she was prior, so it was kind of an arranged deal. Uh, oh, um, she just wanted to have a baby. Exactly. And she let some dude be a human dildo. For a night. Yeah, did she test tube it or she actually let no, him? No, real thing. Legit. Oh, she like, cried the whole time. She's like, it's rape. Uh. Most likely. That's brutal. I was Dude, in the, yeah. Why don't you just do slam poetry? <laughs> <laughs> it's way up your alley. You I, really I will try that. You yeah. really did. Uh, I'm an adult now, daddy, mommy, daddy, mommy, mom, me, daddy. I'd like to let you Society, know, Society, government, good night. That you, uh, you did follow in the footsteps of your mother here tonight because you fucking ate it the entire time you were here. I did. Uh, oh. So uh, we're just going to keep it moving along. One more time oh. for Dustin. We're getting through this bucket. We're flying through it. All right, I love it. Let's keep flying. The next comedian, Carlos Armendariz. Carlos oh. Armendariz. Oh, here he comes. Here's some diversity, baby. Carlos Armendariz. Here he comes. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm the uh, diversity diversity hire uh, on the show. Listen, uh, I had to get that out of the way. I'm Mexican because I know what I look like. I know I look like, uh, you know, you call. You would call me up if, like, your internet goes down, you know. I, I know, like, my name is probably, like, Preston or something like that. Uh, I did go to Mexico, man, a, a couple years ago. I got to meet my biological dad for the first time. And um, I met him, man. I was like, what, what happened, dude? 26 years. And he was like, you know how it is. And I was like, no, dude, this is why I'm here. And then four months later, he dies before Christmas. And I'm like, talk about a fucking deadbeat, right? Talk about a, a week before. Like, 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 it's fine, dude. I got an actual dad, all right? I got an actual, like, I got a dad. I got his last name and everything. He's a stepdad. Like, it, it's fine. But, uh. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. You know what? And by the way, whoever said boo out there, boo you, motherfucker. Like, it's like, did you sign up tonight? No. Fucking weirdos. It's like the one, ca the one catch sometimes is every once in a while, a real YouTube commenter will break into the show and just fucking <laughs> boo at 54 seconds. With six, you couldn't hold your fucking mouth shut. Tony. Th this yeah. They're not wrong. <laughs> It, this is the only festival where someone will get booed for saying they have a father. Yeah. <laughs> also, there's a chance that was... <laughs> Carlos, I noticed a little, uh, little bit of a... What was that, a Mexican accent or a full-blown speech impediment that you have? Uh... Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. A little bit no, of both. No, it's Mexican, Mexican. But I, noticed that, I noticed that you say your S is weird. Who, can you give us an example? The two guys that fought on your shirt, can you say their names? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, Stone Cold and uh, Shawn Michaels. Uh, you <laughs> Shut up, dude. You really tried Shut hard. Shut the fuck up. That's dude. your voice. Say, say Stone Cold's full name. Go ahead. Uh, Without thinking about it too hard, you speech impediment Stone motherfucker. Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, hold on. Say Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah, three times. <laughs> Sally, 
Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Seashells. <laughs> <laughs> she showed us. I love his voice. It's adorable. I could listen to it forever. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, is about Seven about years. <laughs> Seven. Uh, about to be a year. Yeah. What? A uh, year. A year. Where yeah. at? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever get jumped down there? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I want to yeah. bully you right now. I can't <laughs> imagine you surviving in Atlanta. This is incredible. El bull- <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for work? Uh, I paint houses. You paint houses. Yeah. That's wow. Mexican, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and you I'll s- tell you where he threw me. Didn't he say in the beginning of your set, he was like, you know, I'm Mexican, so... You know, no, I can't fix your computer. Like, is that a fucking something? No, no, look, is that a stereotype been laid on Mexicans? I've gotten, Did you mean steal your computer? <laughs> no, nah, because people confuse me for Indian a lot. So, so you know. Right, because yeah. of the way you sound. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. When you're painting houses, how uh, how often do you, are you smelling that paint? Do you uh, did you always sound like this? Every uh, seventy-seven days. <laughs> No, you, you know, you know what's funny. Um, you, you know the people that sell like dish memberships at like at Walmart and stuff. Yeah, totally. Uh, the memberships. They. <laughs> Absolutely, I, I know they, everything uh, about it. Stone they, Cold Steve Austin and Shawn Michael. Sell, sell, she show, but the show, show, she show, show, show. Go ahead. Uh, so, so they, so the guys they try to start up conversations with you, uh, uh-huh. and they're like, "What do you do?" And I was like, "I paint." And he was like, what are you doing here, man? You should be in New York, you know? Like, you're an artist? I was like, no, nah, man, I paint houses, dude. Yeah. And it was like the disappointment in his face was just... Yeah, the uh, disappointment in his face was bad. <laughs> yeah, it really, really was. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, uh, I've, never, I've never talked to a man that sounds like he's eating pussy at all times <laughs> and trying to talk at the same time. Um, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, uh... Oh. Uh, we're fucking. Uh oh. A yeah. special someone, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've been talking to someone? Yeah, you ever yeah. Uh, wipe away the toilet paper rolled up in her pussy cracks? Where'd you meet this girl? Uh, Tinder. Tinder? Yeah. Wow, hell yeah. That's a great place yeah. to meet someone yeah. when you have a voice like yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when I'm this tall, I, I'm sure you can relate, Tony. You know, yeah. when, when you're... No, yeah, I'm 5'9", you fucking doofus. I can't believe I, there's this Tony is short stereotype <laughs> just because I stand next to Big J too often. Uh, no, I can't relate. How tall are you? 5'6". Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> right, dwarf. <laughs> Joel, what do you think about this? He seemed five six to you. Or Measure he, him against your or is dick. That just Take what off he, that hat, Joel. Is that just what he has on his Tinder profile? How tall are you, Joel? Five eight. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that about measures up. So you uh, met her on Tinder, and yeah. uh, then um, what happened? Where'd you guys meet? Uh, just at a bar. We just got at a bar. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. And uh, as a guy that sounds like a catfish <laughs> himself, yeah. uh, do you? Think you want to sit down for some cocktails? <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're looking really spectacular tonight. <laughs> so you went, you went out. And how many drinks did you have? Uh, I think it was like Several. three. <laughs> yeah, seven, yeah. Yeah. I can't, I can't imagine. Seven. seven I can't drinks. imagine what you must sound like after several drinks. You want to get Donald the- Duck? <laughs> You want to get the fuck out of here? <laughs> <laughs> he he yeah. actually, uh, it cleans up. <laughs> so it goes the opposite. He's like, hello, it's great to have you here. <laughs> Let's go back to my place. <laughs> what do you say if you go back to your place and I'll stuff in your pussy? <laughs> uh, fun, t- fun stuff. So did you close the deal? Did you get laid that first night? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is so exciting. You went back to your place or her place? Uh, her place. Her yeah. place, yeah. It was a nice place? Uh, yeah. Did you yeah. notice anything weird? Was there something sort of she off? Could, she could understand when you were telling her your address. 1333. <laughs> 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 I've showed up at 66 wrong places already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, Carlos, uh, you closed that night. Yeah. That mm-hmm. is so exciting. Uh, you just had regular uh, condom sex? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. What kind of condom did you use? Do you remember? Uh, they, yeah, they're, they're called like uh, skin, skin condoms. It's one of the <laughs> they call it anything <laughs> without an S. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> My prophylactic of choice. <laughs> skin. Heck yeah. Last thing I want to do is cut syphilis. <laughs> it's like Droopy Dog, you know, from Warner Brothers. Oh, where's my... That... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> So, Carlos, what's something we'd be surprised to know about you? Um, I, something in your past? You ever saved somebody's life or almost die or... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, I... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Motherfucker, I'm a I almost forgot I was in a prison <laughs> gang for 23 years. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, one, one time I saw uh, someone get in an accident, uh, like in a freeway. Uh-huh. And then, like, there was a bunch of traffic and... And I got out the car to like help him get out the car. And I was wearing like a stupid Superman t-shirt at the stupid time. Stupid Superman. It's always with an S. <laughs> Why is nothing in your story ever start with a nice T? Could have been Aquaman, dude. I was hey, wearing man. suspenders and my starter socks and my... I was like William Fetner from Star Trek. I it was tra- a super cool shirt that was a size small. <laughs> I got yeah, out of yeah. my I got out of my sedan and I slipped on succotash. <laughs> <and> I, <laughs> I hate to be super fluid, but <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Carlos, uh, how long been on stand up? One year. One year. Yeah, one year. Well, congratulations, yeah, man! Th- you did it here tonight. Thank you have fun? You. This is the peak. Yeah. This Do is you the have peak. jokes about the way you sound? No, you sure. really, no, really, should, yeah. really, should, really, yeah. really, yeah. really, need really to focus should, on that. Yeah. Right and I'll beginning. bet you it's probably something that maybe you've been picked on sort of throughout life for. Like, did people make fun of you as a it's kid? Su- for surprisingly, it? not. Yeah. No? Just behind your back. Yeah. Where were you? Where, where were you raised <laughs> yeah, yeah. again? What, what was that? Where were you raised? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Heck yeah, they have so much things that they hate about you other than your speech impediment <laughs> in Atlanta. Yeah. One of the only Mexicans in Atlanta. You got to make a story up for it, like you took a baseball to the throat or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Perhaps Dude, you- my, my tongue was super glued to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> it was a crazy fraternity, Frank. <laughs> All right, well, Carlos, you did it here tonight. We're going to get back to this bucket. No, we Tony, spent a I lot say, of can time I say with one more you. Thing? One oh, more thing? wow, he wants to one say something with thing? S's, ladies thank, and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Gomez, for putting this thing together, man. I really, okay. hey, I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. Thank you. Thank you. I swear to God. I swear to God, I thought it was going to be like... Uh, Super bus. Can I just say one more thing? Let those children out of those cages. What do you guys, uh, what do you guys think? Should we go back to the bucket again, huh? Let's do this shit. Let's Damn. Make, let's make some magic happen. Put your hands together for Kevin Escobar, everybody. Kevin Escobar. Here he comes. Nope, that's not him. Kevin Escobar, make room. Here he comes. Here comes Kevin. One more time for Kevin Escobar. 60 seconds uninterrupted to Kevin Escobar. Here he is. Hi, Kevin. Hola, ¿cómo está? Hola, mi gente, ¿cómo está? ¿Todo bien? Yeah? Any Latinos in the house? No, I don't think so, right? Any racists in the house? Yeah, yeah everybody, all right. Anyway, step away from that. <laughs> Has anyone here ever had a three-way before? Yeah. Liars, fucking liars. Anyway, oh I've had a three-way before, you know, a regular three-way involved myself and two young ladies, just like God intended. Pick a God, it doesn't matter. But um, <laughs> most recently, my fiance and I, you know, we're in bed. I'm on top. We're having intercourse, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we have three cats, right? So, yeah, he's shaking his head. <laughs> so one of them decided to jump on the bed and uh, I guess likes big furry balls and just swat out of my sack. Um, I know it's not a three-way to brag about, but I came super hard, right? It was pretty amazing. But now we have to keep the door locked because she says so. But what about my or- orgasm, right? <laughs> um, there you go. All right, Kevin Escobar. Heck yeah. Kevin motherfucking Escobar. First time on Kill Tony, right? Yes, sir. How long have you been doing stand-up? A year. 
or a year. Where at? Uh, I live in Flushing, Queens, so I'm mostly around the five boroughs. The five boroughs. Yeah. Heck yeah. Flush. I feel like you should flush those jokes down the toilet. Yeah. I don't know. It usually kills. I don't know what's going on today. Huh. Neither do we. I swear. I don't know. What do you do for work, Kevin? I'm an audio engineer for a bank. Audio engineer for a band? Yes. Oh, very cool. You, you know, with all of their awesome audio. Banks. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, Kevin, you're born and raised in Queens? Yes, sir. Yeah, you do say your S is weird a little bit too. Am I noticing I mean, a little? Right now, I have Invisalign in, so oh. it, it fucks me up a bit. My God, yeah. you always wear your Invisalign? I have to, because then it's a waste of money. You know? Mm. My goodness, yeah. how long have you had that in your mouth for? A uh, year. I have a week left. So. You have one week left. Yeah. How excited are you? I'm very excited because you can't eat pussy with these things on. You know? Wow, I don't yeah. think that's what's keeping you from eating pussy. Yeah. My Why? No, I'm, I'm, I'm over, I'm Why can't you eat pussy with something covering your teeth? Are you trying to actually eat the pussy? Yeah. Uh, exactly. Are we talking? And are we talking about your three cats again? <laughs> Biggest no, Jay Okerson. Oh, I was just gonna say it's time to start munching and visit dine. <laughs> 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 Are you really that shocked that people have threesomes? Like, you think people are lying? Like, you see... Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. you poor thing. Sad. How long have you been with your lady for? Uh, eight years. Eight years. See, that's why it's crazy to you. You were, like, a religious good boy? You are like, sober and... Uh, I mean, I am sober, but I'm not religious. Right. Yeah. But you're sober. And uh, so you've been with the same lady for eight years. And... Oh, uh, Spartan race last week. I messed up my arm. Um, on my arm. I, just, I just never Holy seen a shit. guy like just have like an ace bandage for no reason. No, I, I just told <laughs> yeah, why is that? Why are you wearing that? Oh, uh, I did a Spartan race last week, so I messed up my forearm. A what race kind of, like a Spartan like a, race, like a, a foot race. Course. Yeah. How would you it? fuck up your what? elbow in a foot race? <laughs> Spartan race. What's a Spartan? I don't know race. what a fucking Spartan oh, race is. I'm saying it like niggas know that shit. There were, there were a few black people on the. On the I show. heard the syllables. Spartan? Yeah, still doesn't ring a bell, dude. I've also. Who makes your elbow fucking brace? Like Fubu? Why is it so. It's such a bag. It's not. I thought he was wearing it. long johns. That's it. what I thought. I, I thought it was it long johns under the shirt. I gotta, I, I gotta ask, Kevin, what is a Spartan race? Yeah, what That's, is a fucking Spartan? I'm trying to explain, sir. <laughs> just please. explain it. It's just Talk a, it's an obstacle course. You climb things. Like and what's, on, what's in the obstacle course? Uh, you carry rocks up hills and. Fucking climb ropes and uh, like mud shit and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right? Some swim in dirty water. You know, white people shit. You know, <laughs> white. People. That sounds like the opposite of white people shit. There's a lot of white people there, bro. I'm going back to when you asked you know, like, any racist here. So anyway, uh, like it, it just it didn't even have anything to do with anything. You're just gauging the room. Your last name is Escobar. What ethnicity are you? Uh, yo soy colombiano. Wow, hell yeah. So you're they're used to carrying rocks up mountains. <laughs> It's uh, a co big cocaine joke. Cocaine rocks, Colombian. Yes, cocaine rocks. All right. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, your family from uh, direct descendants? Were you born there? Or? Uh, both my parents say they're from Colombia, and I was born here. The only, yeah. Only what if ICE shows up at the door? Then what do they say? What was what? ICE. What if ICE? All right. Forget it. Hit, hitting too close I to home. I collect here. recycling every night. The one they give my boy. Invisible braces. <laughs> what is the braces are El Blanco. El <laughs> uh, <a> Blanco. <laughs> uh, what is the lady that you've been with for eight years do? Uh, she is also auto audio engineer for a different bank. Wow. Can you say the band that you work with? It runs with shitty. With shitty? Yes. The name of the band is Shitty, S-H-I-T-T-Y? No, I, a band. No. Bank. I, the bank. bank. Shitty. Oh. Yeah, oh. bank. I swear to no God, sense. I thought you said band, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're an is audio band? engineer Wait, for a bank? Are, did you, are, were you just saying a bank that is city? I didn't say that. It's Citibank. He's an Citibank. audio engineer for Citibank. I said earlier on, I pointed out how weird it was, and everyone looked at me like I was an asshole. An audio and I was engineer? right. 
Why would a fucking bank have an audio engineer? That's so Fuck weird, everyone. Right? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Suck what, my what? dick. That's like, I'm an executive producer at a pizza place. <laughs> Wells Fargo. That is hilarious that Lewis got it before the entire room, but we're so used to him being Lewis that when he said it, we all went, shut up. <laughs> uh, keep going about your shitty band. So you and your chick are both audio engineers for banks. Where did you meet on your seven hours of smoke break a day? <laughs> <laughs> How Come in, tap a few of the microphone, <laughs> make sure the three holes on the glass are working. Pretty much Wait, it. Wait, are yeah. you like, are you for English press one? <laughs> no. That'd be an easier job. It's yeah. the only audio. It's the only fucking audio at the bank. You gotta be for Yeah, what, what audio one. specifically do you work on? Do you fix the retarded ATM? <laughs> like, hey, Ray Charles, I promise this is, this is all you know, 20s. Ri- rich people, these bankers like using giant screens and microphones to talk to other rich people in China or India and just, I gotta make sure they sound Oh, out. you set up shit for conference calls. Auditoriums and, and stuff like that, yeah. I got it. Any other fun facts about Kevin Escobar that we'd be surprised to know? What makes you different than everybody uh, else? I mean, I actually do comedy in Spanish, too. Oh, um, wow. I'm trying out for HBO Latino July 10th. So. Oh, can we hear a little one-liner in Spanish? A quick one? Just like a little, like, if you have anything, like, super short? For Spanish, press two. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a quick one-liner. And I'm going I'm to see if Joel Berg laughs at this or not. No confunda negra en pelota con una pelota negra. All right. Did go. he just say the N-word in Spanish? Yeah, I heard nega. I don't know what the fuck nega means. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his speech impediment. Do uh, you and your chick ever fuck in the bank vault like Scrooge McDuck? Yeah. <laughs> Good question. One I, in the bank, two in the stank. You know what I'm saying? Good qu- One good. in the city, one in the shitty. <laughs> one in the Wells Fargo, one in that back car. Tony, I was right with you that he worked for a band named Shitty. <laughs> you got to take them Invisaligns out for the I show, know. man. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. If I take the Invisalign out, I will never, my teeth will come go completely back to where they were a year ago. Exactly. I work for Shitty. <laughs> My goodness. Have you guys ever had crazy bank sex? I cannot confirm or deny. Whoa! That's a fucking yes for those yeah. of you wondering. You'd say no if it wasn't. That is so cool. Fucking blowing loads. Do you, do you ever like go in the bank and hand her a note and say, give me all that ass? Hey, hell yeah. <laughs> Heck in sp- yeah. In Spanish. In Spanish. You give her the old ATM, the old ass to mouth. It's both bankers. <laughs> Fucking leave a little deposit in there ever, huh? Unfortunately, we don't actually deal with the money, just the technology and computers and stuff, so. That's that's cool for the story. Are you ever ever not able to come, and then she looks back and asks you what's wrong, and you say, insufficient funds. (laughs) 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 All right, let's keep it moving along. There he goes, Kevin Escobar, everybody. (laughs) What do you guys think? One more time? We, you know, we have not had we have not had a lady up tonight. What do you guys think? Should we pull until we get a lady up there? Huh? This guy's booing that. We have not had a lady. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make it even, right? At the equal opportunity or something yeah, like that. Yeah, nine to one seems even. <laughs> Put your hands together for your final comedian of the night, Emma Lai. Emma Lai. Wow, look at that, special lighting. Emily. Here she is, Emily, everybody. Come on, make some fucking noise. First off, it's Emily, it's just Dutch. Secondly, so I'm living in Florida, right? Scrolling through a couple of uh, Florida man stories, right? Just a small collection known as the local news. Come across the story of a dude who somehow managed to break into the side of a Vera Bradley shop with a buzz saw to steal about $600 worth of product. Now, two emotions go through me when I read this, right? First one, bewilderment at the fact that this dude just zombie massacred his way through a cement wall, perused until he had gathered up $600 worth of uh, 
I don't know, whatever the fuck you get a Vera Bradley. <laughs> and just waltzed out. And nobody did anything. Like it was nothing. And I remembered. Oh yeah, it's Florida. <laughs> Second thing is honestly jealousy. You wanna know why? So this chick, right? I got to thinking, you know, it's gotta be, fuck. It's gotta be a professional grade level of pussy whip this guy or this chick has this guy in order to have him wrapped so far around her finger that he would risk life and limb for a pair of pants. Hey, Jesus! MLI pushed it all the way to the old uh, Chelsea Bear there. Emma, you didn't need to tell us that you live in Florida. You look like you live in Florida. No, no, I used to. What? I used to. Oh, okay. Who gives a fuck? Joke che. worked. Che, you were right. What, guys, girls, doesn't matter. White people don't know how to say hi to the audience, man. They don't get... She went, my name's Emma Lee. It's Dutch, fuck faces. Yeah. Yeah. So, God. news is weird. Literally, yeah. It's like listening to someone on the phone. <laughs> Where I, 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 what? We yes. don't know the other side. You got to tell us what the fuck you talking about. I did. For those of you wondering, her name is spelled Emma, and the last name is L-I-E. So, uh, no, no, it, no, it's all one. It's E-M-M-A-L-I-E. My last name is way too fucking complicated. Oh, oh. see that? I'm we, not going to lie to you. You wrote I it. I don't, know, I don't know how long you've been uh, not in Dutch land before, but... Uh, <laughs> You left a space and you capitalized the L beforehand. You know, in America, if it's really one word, we just one word that shit. So shove that hey info man, up your Dutch hey ass. Man. English is hard. I English is hard. Heck yeah. Right, look, you, maybe, we're, we're putting you through the Dutch oven here tonight. Uh, All right, that's true. She's going through the Dutch oven. Let me start with some positives. Um, compared to the last two comedians, you could speak. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I found that refreshing. You, you used to live in Florida. Where do you live now? East L.A. East uh, L.A. Originally from Indiana. Okay. That's probably where it's from. How long have you been working at Hot Topic? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of days. I love it. You what get a discount you? on pins and patches and shit? <laughs> do what? What do you do for work? Uh, Postmates. Postmates? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Getting high on your own supply. Have I used that one Pretty time? Pretty much. Uh, used the coupon right. code Kill Tony Bad. and get $100 worth It somehow worth of worked better this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, Postmates, official sponsor of Kill Tony. Absolutely. Use Fuck yeah. Okay. Kill, Kill I Tony. I support wherever I can. Yeah, use the promo code Kill Tony. Get uh, $100 Free. free delivery. Free delivery. A hundred dollars right. for the first week. That's yep. literally for yeah, you damn. guys. That's like uh, one meal. Um, so uh, <laughs> Emma, much, yeah. tell us something. For we how many people? It goes by weight. <laughs> yeah. So Emma, tell us something crazy. How long were you in Florida for? A couple decades or something? Three years. Three years. That's mm -hmm. it. Uh, what's the craziest thing you saw in Florida? What's truly the most Florida shit other than that? Uh, story? A skinny white kid wearing a shirt. <laughs> Yeah. No, okay, so. <laughs> the scariest thing I've ever seen, so I'm in Florida, right? I'm training to be a professional wrestler. I'm in class one day. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm in class one day, and pretty much um, these guys were all doing shit, pretty much trying to show up, and uh, one of the guys decides he's just going to shit can himself over the top rope. The best part is the guys outside of the ring didn't know it. So that was actually, uh, yeah, really dicey. All right, but tell that huh. to people who aren't professional wrestlers. What, is, what does shit can himself mean? Just took a swan dive over the top rope, said a prayer, and hoped for the best. Let me, let me ask you something. Did everybody know mm. that? I, I didn't know that was called shit can on the indie circuit. <laughs> <laughs> and you still know some moves, right? Mm. Would you mind? I think the crowd here uh, would be pretty excited. Is there any chance? Biggest, biggest Jay Okerson over there, uh, the, old, uh, the old innocent victim. Um, he has a, uh, believe it or not, he has a tendency to take a stone cold stunner here and there. You know what that move is? Ooh, but I'm, nah, that's not my gimmick, love. Oh, what is that. it? What, what's, a, what's the type of move that you know how to do? Hand job. <laughs> over the pants stuff. But just light over the pants stuff. Good He's one, me. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. 
What type of what type of wrestling move do you know how to do? Is there anything you would be willing to do? On a comedian great Jeremiah Watkins, aka biggest Jay Okerson. Literally you can would do you be any you to could take a front slam. A front slam? I don't know what the hell that is, oh but my. okay. Oh god. <laughs> That would be our oh answer. Oh boy, are you gonna? Uh, is I'm there gonna a chance? I'm gonna no, kill yeah, him. I'm gonna kill him. No, yeah, yeah. Let's not do here. that one because I think his nose will go through the stage. Um, <laughs> is there any other move other than a front slam? He has a big nose. Is there a way we could protect that? <laughs> Vertical suplex. Go. Like, how about a regular body slam? If he jumps into it, you think you can get him? No, no, I think a front slam. slam he, I yeah, she drops slam. him. What? I, do you want to take a body slam right here? All right, fuck it. All right. Wow. Oh, that was a moment where, like, she knew that it's probably bad for his back, but he doesn't. Oh You'll be hilarious God. if right before she does it, Shay just hits her with a fucking chair across the back. Oh, in the ultimate heel turn. Does anybody have... We have a hair tie coming to the stage for Emma Lai. Uh, this is an interesting moment in the show where it's either going to be epic or Jeremiah is going to die. Uh, It'll be an epic death. Um, By the way, biggest Jay Ogerson, we wore ankle socks. <laughs> you, for those of you that were at the Gramercy, uh, you saw it then, you're about to see it now. This is Jeremiah Takes a Bump, live on Kill Tony. It looks like they're talking shit. Oh my god. Wow. their feet live at skank fast jeremiah takes a bump live on kill tony what a slam oh man jeremiah is really selling it he survived everybody skank fest is on their feet everyone and we did it that's an episode of kill tony everybody One more time for Emily, everyone. Emily, Emily. One more time as loud as you can get for the Legion of Skanks. One more time as loud as you can get for Michael Che. You know you have to give me the last of your voice for the great Jeremiah Watkins. And give it up for the great Joelberg Joel Jimenez, everybody. Louis J. Gomez, Big J. Okerson, Dave Smith, Michael Che. These guys, how about a hand for yourselves for being truly some of the best comedy fans in the world? And of course, you gotta give it up for my man on the can, the great Brian Red Band, everybody. See you guys. Gangbest, we love you. Good night. Good night.